Hello everyone, welcome back to another short video about animation. This time I want to talk about some uh, mistakes that I sometimes I see in my um, students in squashandstash.net. Sometimes they open the rig instead of importing as a reference. Sometimes they realize that they, they needed IK arms instead of FK. And in this short video we will see exactly how to fix this common problem, how to transfer the animation. In, uh, from the wrong rig, let's say, into reference one imported in Maya, and how to switch from IKFK with and without any any plugin. So let's get started. So I opened this C file from a student of the workshop three in specialstretch.net, where we deal with um, weight shift stuff like that. And uh, open the file, then I realized that she never imported the, the rig as a reference. So let's see how to do this. Of course, if there wasn't no animation, we just imported the rig and that's it. But because we want to keep the animation, we need to transfer properly the animation. So we, we see two ways to do this. There will be probably hundred of ways to do, it. but we we use one from uh, inside Maya, so we don't need any plugin to do it, and one with any bot which is uh, so common right now. So the student in a uh, and stretch gets for free, and the student we have it, so it's super easy to do this. Let's see these two ways to do it. So first of all, we need to wait. Anyways, we need to load the reference properly. So create reference, point to this rig, this Dina rig from Joe Daniels, and we need to have it there. So we now see the proper reference file. Now we need to transfer the animation. So we can do the first way by just exporting the animation from this. We can do by going to export selection. Go to anime export. If you don't see this, you need probably to enable the plugin. If you type and um, start typing it, you see this plugin needs to be enabled. And I'll leave it everything as default instead of this one should be below in order we just set the first node and the export everything. If the export save the file. And in export, okay. And then we can just select the other one and import. Point to the file, just export it. And uh, is uh, in position. Doesn't seem, but you see, is perfectly in position. So this was the old one. We can add, and this is the new one. Which so this is the first way to transfer the animation properly. Okay. It keeps everything there, so we can easily delete the wrong one, which is this one, and just save and keep the alternatives. Let's see how to do the same with an import. So I went back to the imported reference and the old animation to see how to do with the import. What we need to do is just select all the controls of the character. And just with these two icons here, which is copy animation and past animation, 
the first thing to select the new one to fast animation from the next. Okay. And we see the characters overlapping in each step. Same position. So this the this the old one, the tonight. And we see that everything is there. So of course we then involved this easier quicker. And uh, but this way we know uh, how to do it with or without any problem. Now we transfer the animation properly. We have the reference inside of the scene, no more of the file, and we can proceed to a different one. So let's see now how to fix this uh, IK FKR on the switch. We will see how to do it without caring about the uh, rig, because I guess this rig itself has yeah, its own uh, way to switch it, which is good, especially in this kind of animation it's, that is just, for example, where we don't really have uh, any any animation. There we can just kill the animation and just plant the, the arm there in the sofa. So a part of this, we will see how, how to fix it properly in a, probably every rig, every situation. The simplest way is to just create a locator. And uh, of course, I know that we don't have any kind of animation. We can just switch in FK, snap back to the position and that's it. But when we want to transfer animation, we need to properly export the animation, import the animation. And uh, to start properly, we need to really store the first uh, uh, position of the control. So I usually add the locator and uh, which is there. And then snap back to the control. So with the align tool of the parent constraint, and then we kill uh, the, the constraint, we can do it. I just wrote a, a simple uh, tool which allows me to snap it really quickly. This sports space, you can see it in the, you can download for free. I put the link in the description. And uh, I snap back to get to store the position of this one. So now we can, uh, in this rig, I guess, stream from here. We can go here and switch to AKFK. I repeat, there is a feature in this rig to snap back. Of course, we use this, but for every other rigs which doesn't have this kind of feature, this way can be helpful. So we now just select back this, select the control. And once again, we can parent constraint and snap back with no offset and kill the constraint or so use the align tool, but this is super, super easy and quick for me. So I just put the, the same position of the arm in the same position that it was with the uh, FK. Now we can just fix the pull vector of the elbow. And we have the, the position in FK, in AK of the arm. But what we got here in this rig, we don't have option to follow the body, the head, uh, and uh, all these spaces that we uh, daily use in um, in, in our animation to, to easily animate. So what we can do once again, if we have no plugin or nothing, we can just constrain the control to maybe this one, to the sofa itself. Parent constraint. 
with uh, maintain offset, everything else. And in this case, and in this case, uh, it works because I can, uh, I can sell the push. I can do this and really have the, the arm always there, which is good. I don't need, if I don't need to animate on top of, the, of it, it's okay, stay there. But if I want to do things properly, we can do it once again in a better way because all the good rigs, let me go back here. All the good rigs are uh, always have uh, this null on top of it, which can be used to, to constrain properly. So I can do, I can select now these, then select another control, but not above, and, uh, and do the same pattern constraint. So it is the same as before. It's planted there perfectly. I can do this to check it. And on top of that, I didn't constrain the main control. So you see there's no key. So I can I can uh, animate on top of this. If I want to to adjust to to have more details in my animation. Okay, so this uh, in this case I would do this way. But if you want to do something really more um, interesting and in a proper way, I I brought a, a little tool. Let me go back once again. Yes, I brought a little tool, which is multi space. In a proper video, you will see how this means. It just to finish um, about all these uh, video to fix problems. I just go straight to use it a bit. So I wrote this uh, tool which allow us to properly add uh, new spaces to a reference rig. I use every day because we can use it in a professional environment because it, it works with the reference file. It doesn't destroy anything. It's super safe and stable. Um, it just uh, allows us to add uh, as many uh, spaces as we want in a, in a good way. Let's see quickly how it works. So I need to uh, constrain these to the, to the sofa, to the couch. So I can call it uh, prop sofa, for instance. Select this one, click one, and it adds a new space in the in the selection in the arm in this case. Then actually I had to say what is the the this asset, this driver. I select it and you go to select two and then just execute by clicking three. So what did I do? I enhanced the rig. I add the new spaces. If I scrub now, it doesn't do nothing because I just added the feature, but I have to enable, simply just going to put one, enable and disable, and now it follows the, the sofa properly. And uh, I can animate on top because you see there's no uh, constraint there. I can key it and uh, It works if I check this one. So this way we can add uh, as many new spaces we want. Uh, once again, there is a proper video where uh, I explain everything you can do with this. It's just not on Greek. You can really be, uh, be creative, uh, constraint object within them. And you can uh, keep going. We can, I don't know, maybe after this push, they stay there and put the end in the, in the head. We can easily add head space here by selecting this one head and it puts another head, another attribute here, define what is this head and then this one, it just does this um, thinking, but it keeps working. 
is working properly. So you this way add the new feature to your rig and uh, you uh, have the, the total freedom to animate on top of it without caring about uh, locator constraints and stuff like that. It's super easy, super handy. And you can, uh, I can put a link to download if you are interested. So in this video, we saw how to fix the scene by importing the rig as a reference, how to export the animation from the wrong rig to the right one. We saw two ways to do this with the traditional tools of Maya and also with the Animbot plugin that is widely used and also the students of squashandstretch.net gets for free. We also saw how to switch from IK, FK in the arms and uh, we also used the plugin that I wrote which allowed us to enhance the rig by adding custom space. You can download the, from the link in the description if you want it. And also this one is uh, free for uh, the students of Squash and Stretch. I hope you like it. Let me know if you have any question and uh, please subscribe so we can understand that you like this video and we can uh, keep doing it. Thank you very much.